Hello again, this is Pearson Brown from EnglishGrammarSecrets.com. Today's lesson is about shall. We don't use shall very frequently in modern English, particularly in American English. It is used to make offers and suggestions and in questions to ask for advice. Here's an example. What time shall we meet? What time do you suggest we meet? Shall we vote on it now? I suggest we vote on it. What dress shall I wear? What dress do you suggest I wear? Shall I open the window? I'm offering to open the window. Notice that there are two possible negatives of shall. There's shall not and there's shan't. Listen to the difference. Shall shan't. The ah much, much longer. Though that's not one which we hear very much these days. I don't like these people and I shall not go to their party. I shan't object if you go without me. Formerly in older grammar, shall was used as an alternative to will, with I and with we, but today will is normally used in most situations. When we do use shall, it has an idea of a more personal, subjective future. I shall go to see the boss and I shall ask him to explain this decision. Most Young people would say, I will go to see the boss and I will ask him to explain this decision. Well, of course, I've got an exercise for you. You'll be able to find it at EnglishGrammarSecrets.com. I hope you'll come and do it. See you again soon. This is Pearson Brown. Bye.